Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outuse. In this video, I'll be showing you, or we'll be discussing you, Brave vs Firefox. But before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just under this video. Let's get started. So, you're trying to figure out between Brave and Firefox here. So, there are some things that you need to take in consideration, just in case you want to find the correct browser for you. So, first of all, first of all here, let's go and discuss the features and user experience. Now. First up, when it comes to features and how they feel or to how they actually feel to, uh, to use, well, Firefox is as honestly uh, really impressive here. Now, it's super customizable and you can change the entire vibe on of the visor with themes, extensions, and little tweaks here and there. Now, it ha even has like little built-in things that make life easier. Now, like a picture-in-picture -picture mode, so you can pop out of uh, out a YouTube video and keep it floating while you work. And also a PDF editor, so you can edit documents while leaving the browser. And also even color picker tool if you're doing design stuff and such. Plus, their password manager is pretty decent here. Not amazing like something like NordPass, but good enough if you don't want a separate app for it. Now, next, let's go and discuss Brave. Now, Brave, on the other hand, leans hard into privacy first. It means that you get stuff like Brave Talk, which is secure video calling, a speed reader, which cleans up messy articles so you can focus just on the text, and vertical tabs if you like stacking your tabs neatly here. And even a built-in crypto wallet. And they also have a rewards program where you earn their BAT tokens by viewing ads. But honestly, payouts are tiny here. Like, it's cool and tiered, but don't expect to get rich or even make a few bucks fast. Now, in this case, both browsers have VPN or built-in VPN here, but to be real with you, neither Brave nor Firefox VPN is worth the money here, so you're way better off with just getting something like Surfshark or Proton VPN if you care about that. So, yeah. So, if you're going to compare these two platforms, well, honestly, Firefox win this one when it comes to features. They just have more stuff that actually useful for everyday life and not just like niche privacy or crypto features here. Now, let's talk about, about the speed and performance here. Now, it's a pretty even game, if you're asking me. Now, Firefox, uh, in this case, uh, in, uh, it's a bit of a, uh, has a bit of a reputation for being slow back in the day. But after the updated uh, engine here, it's honestly super fast as of right now. Now, you can make it even faster by turning on hardware acceleration and managing your add-ons properly. As long as you keep it updated, it's smooth sailing. Now, let's talk about Brave here. Now, Brave, now on the other hand, is very quick, especially because it blocks trackers and ads right out of the box. That makes pages load faster here. And one thing though, if you use Brave's privacy, uh, private browsing mode with Tor, it does slow down because of data bounces around different servers for privacy, but that's expected. Now, overall though, it, in a day-to-day -day basis or day-to-day -day browsing here, both are fast. So, so in this case, speed really isn't going to be uh, to be the deal breaker between the two. Now, when it comes to search engines, so this is where Brave pulls ahead. Now, Brave actually has its own search engine. Brave Search. Now it runs on its own independent index, so meaning it's not just around front of for Google or so results like a lot of other privacy search engines are. And in this case, it means that it's not just another front for Google results like a lot of other privacy uh, engines. So in this case, you will like this because it actually shows you what you're looking for without flooding you with ads and SEO junk. And plus, they've got this cool thing called Google Goggles where you can customize how search results are ranked for you. Now, Firefox, on the other hand, just defaults to Google. So you can change it to something uh, like Startup Page or Serac Ser, or manually if you want more privacy, but out of the box, it's just regular Google here. So yeah, in terms of search engines, well, honestly, Brave wins this round. Now, in this case, both browsers are open source, so meaning anyone can go in and check their code, which is good. So in this case, uh, transparency builds trust. Now, Firefox is built on its own engine called like, Gecko, so while Brave is built on Chromium, the same thing Chrome is based on. But Brave strips out a lot of sketchy tracking stuff that Chrome leaves in. But yeah, so Brave adds three major privacy layers here. So we have Brave Shields which in this case blocks trackers, adds harmful scripts, even forces websites to use secure HTTPS connections. And they have advanced protection. So this is where you get encrypted data, uh, device syncing and private windows with Tor built in. 
And also, no data collection policies here. So Brave just doesn't collect your personal info at all. Now, Firefox is really strong on privacy too. It blocks trackers by default, auto upgrades to HTTP to HTTPS, and your browser history stays local unless you choose to share it. But Firefox doesn't block ads automatically, so you need to install an extension like uBlock Origin, which personally I use it on my browser for that. Now, if privacy is your number one thing, well, in this case, Brave edge out Firefox just a little because it does more out of the box, especially with built in ad blocking and Tor browsing without needing. Uh, needing anything extra that you need to install it's already built in inside so yeah so in this case those are the things i need to consider here uh when it uh when comparing or choosing between brave or mozilla so if you want more customization with your browser or with your uh in this case with whatever browser you're using, then obviously Mozilla is going to be the go-to here. Now, if you want more privacy and you're just into that, well, Brave is a clear winner. But yeah, so each of these browsers cater to different things. So just make sure to choose which one uh, fits for you. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.